all my life, my greatest fear has been me being the reason why my mom cries. The moment I heard the word cancer, I was so scared. Because back home, when we hear the word cancer, we know that it's end of life. I never wanted my mom to bury me. I started getting pain in my leg. It was so painful. I started getting concerned when now I couldn't go up a flight of stairs and I couldn't walk. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. I used to think a lot about what do you call it when you fear that people won't remember you after dying? In Africa, like anywhere in the world, no parent wants to bury their child. And that is what Global Hope is seeking to address when it comes to childhood cancers. In the United States, for example, and in most developed countries, 80% of children diagnosed of cancer survive or are cured. In Sub-Saharan Africa, 90% of those children die. If it's not happening in the developed world, why should it continue to happen in Africa? The Bristol Myers Group Foundation has been working in Africa since 1999. You're talking about a time where a huge percentage of mothers in Africa had HIV, and therefore every child they had essentially was born with HIV and died. It was a daunting issue. Some entity needed to step up to make a statement and really draw attention to what was happening there. And Secure the Future was born, focused on the five hardest hit countries in Sub-Saharan Africa. South Africa, Lesotho, Botswana, Namibia, Eswatini. In that time, we've seen wonderful medical interventions, innovations come forward and really change the landscape for our people. And here we are today where the World Health Organization has actually declared that Botswana has eliminated mother-to-child transmission. Secure the Future literally saved a generation of children in some countries in Africa. A big, bold thank you from Botswana for Texas Children's Hospital and Bristol Myers Group. For you saved a whole nation state. You have assured us of survival. It's been 20 years, but you just think about all those children that are going to be born HIV free. It's what partnerships are all about. And, you know, Bristol Myers Squibb was there for the long haul. When we focus on cancer in the way that Global Hope is focusing, you almost say, I've been here. I was here 20 years ago with HIV. The fact that cancer has the same hallmarks as HIV, not a lot of infrastructure, not many oncologists, Services are very hard to access. But then you say, look at where we are today with HIV. So there is hope. We've already been able to provide care for over 10,000 children. But 10,000 children is a very small percentage of those children that are out there with cancer and blood disorders. So we have a long way to go, but we have a history of making it happen. The goal is not simply to go out there and treat children with cancer. The goal is to enable the local system to build that capacity. We really estimate that within 20 to 25 years, we'll be achieving similar outcomes in these children as we see in the United States or Europe. To me, Global Hope is that light at the end of the tunnel. It's what gave me my second chance at life. 